Migraines, memory loss, paralysis, and even death, and not know it. Over 25,000 people are infected each year, but doctors continue to misdiagnose this illness over and over again. By the time your symptoms develop, it could be too late. This little deer tick is to blame for an illness so looming that some say it could be the biggest epidemic since AIDS. Tonight, protecting yourself and your family from a disease that, according to federal health officials, is 10 times worse than previously thought. I told myself if the pain gets worse, I just didn't even want to live anymore. A rash or flu-like symptoms, fever, headache, and fatigue. But if the disease goes untreated, it can lead to joint pain, neurological problems, and even heart issues. Um, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis patients are what we call Lou Gehrig's disease. And we found uh, out of the 150 people, 150 had Lyme disease. Your symptoms were compatible with a diagnosis of chronic Lyme disease. Relapsing fever, syphilis, or leptospirosis. Fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue syndrome. I think a lot of people that have um, multiple sclerosis could have Lyme disease. We've always suspected that there's at least 10 cases of Lyme disease for every one that shows up at the CDC. Every state in the union except Hawaii has Lyme disease. So if you live in this country, there's a good chance that you might be exposed to it not realized. And they don't have to come from Minnesota, they don't have to come from Connecticut um, to actually have it. But I think it's a way more prevalent than, uh, than what's accepted in traditional medical circles.